The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Then Jesus entered the temple area and began to drive out the merchants. And he said to them, God says in the scriptures, my house shall be a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of robbers. Jesus was teaching every day in the temple. The chief priests and teachers of the law wanted to kill him, and the elders of the Jews as well, but they were unable to do anything, for all the people were listening to him and changing and clinging on to his words. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. So magandang umaga po sa kanan lahat. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Ang mensahe ngayon ng Gospel ay tungkol sa pagdarasal. At natatandaan ko, the epistle of Paul to the Ephesians, na kinukonsyensya tayo, you do not know how to pray, which you owe to. Na hindi tayo marunong magdasal, ay eh, talagang mahirap magdasal. Lalo't lalo na, pag hindi buong loob, binibigay natin ang ating sarili sa Panginoon. Sinusunod ko tungkol sa pagdarasal si Teresa of Avila sa Way of Perfection. Tatlong bagay ang kanyang turo. Point one, you cannot pray if you are self-indulgent. Self-indulgent means mailing sa comfort, pleasure, etc. Self-indulgent. Hindi marunong mag-deny of oneself. Self-indulgence. Pangalawa, bantayan nyo ang inyong bibig. Ang bibig na walang preno, ibig sabihin walang disiplina ang puso. At pangatlo, if you have a choice, piliin ang iyong kinakasama. Choose your companions. Because the people with whom we always go with, will influence ultimately the way they are thinking into the way we should think. My favorite vow is poverty. Poverty protects all. When you control yourself, which is not easy, control yourself in many things. Magkakapag-control ka rin sa iyong bibig. Hindi ka basta-basta. Nagkikwento sa buhay ng ibang tao. 